So I have worked 20 years with truth commissions, different countries all over the place. And this must be the weirdest welcome to a new commissioner I have ever seen. <laughs> And, um, but also, it may be one of the most honest events I have seen at Truth Commission. And, and I think this is a very good, important debate. We are debating with our ideas, and obviously we are also debating with our bodies. We decide to stay or not stay around the table. So that's also a decision. And I understand why it happens. It happens because Truth Commissions are not created in societies that are harmonious, that are fair, that are just, uh, that, are, that have healed or have reconciled. Truth commissions are created in societies that are divided, where people don't trust each other. Um, otherwise, there wouldn't be a reason to, to do that. And that's the paradox. They are created in places where it is very difficult they're going to work. And yet, the only thing I can bring to the table is comparative experience. There have been many truth commissions established. All of them, like your commission, have been established to look into issues that are extremely serious, brutal, terrible. In my own country, 69,000 people killed by the state and by the Shining Path including, I mean, there's no person I know in Peru who is not a victim or a relative of a victim or knows someone in his, her extended circles that was a victim in those years, including the members who ended up being in the commission or the staff members like I. And, uh, and so even in those places, commissions were established and somehow they managed to work. Um, if you saw the videos yesterday, and I didn't select them because of that, but, but I'm thinking now, when you look at the South African Truth Commission, of course it's presided by Archbishop Tutu, a fighter against apartheid. The vice president is a white pastor, Alex Borain, one of the sweetest persons I know, who was a personal mentor, passed away a few years ago with a smile on his face, because he was a just man. And that commission had members of all political uh, persuasions in South Africa. The Truth Commission in my country, in Peru, I guess you saw the declaration yesterday in the video, um, selected a former minister of the dictatorship to be a member of the commission. The white woman that, uh, that was speaking in the video and that after two years working in the commission and doing what you do in a truth commission, which is to listen to testimony, to participate in exhumations, to clean up human bodies for identification, at the end of those two years, she publicly apologized to the nation for her role in the dictatorship and also for the fact that her class was all the time um, giving it back to the country and to the people who suffer there. And, and so the commissions I know have tried to do that. 